Hello? Dad, how many times did I tell you? The police are not after you, you're legal now. <laughs> Families, don't you wish you belonged to another one? Well, I know, I do. My parents expect too much of me. They expect that I'm some sort of child genius. <laughs> I remember, as much as I hate to say it, I'm not. I remember the first day of secondary school. My mother tidying up my uniform, telling me to get all A stars at school today. My dad there, standing, proud. Then he had to ruin it. Better, if you get in trouble or bad grace, you'll be finished, eh? You'll be finished. <laughs> but I must applaud the British folk. They have a schedule, they know what they're doing. B's and A's are good enough. That's the thing. I get B's and A's, that's good, isn't it? I may be a genius to you, but in my parents' eyes, I'm an idiot, an imbecile, <laughs> and maybe Andrew. Not good enough for them. Not living up to their great expectations I've set for me. I remember one, t one day, my father sat me down and he said to me, Better, you need to get good grades, become doctor, huh? <laughs> I sighed and I had to say this to him, but Dad, I want to be an artist. Art? What? Art? <laughs> that night, I went to sleep. Scared, of course. <laughs> My mother came in the room and she said to me, Don't worry about your father. You will be a doctor for me, huh? <laughs> so that's when reality hit me. My mother actually cared about me. She just wants me to be successful in life. But my father, that's another story, he just wants to take my earnings. <laughs> I remember, over the next week or so, I was watching a lot of TV, comic relief, charity adverts. And just imagine your mother drinking dirty water. Kolo, ha, Kolo has taken her life yet again. Imagine your father bitten by a female mosquito carrying the deadly disease, malaria. Or imagine your family starving, hungry, haven't eaten for days. Malnutrition has infiltrated its way through. Now just imagine that. That happens to many families and kids in Africa, Southern Asia, in the Philippines, in many other countries. Now think twice before complaining about the expectations your friends, families, parents give you, but instead appreciate the expectations you've been set and appreciate the love that's behind it.